A Fox News alert. The White House says another unidentified flying object has been shot down over North America, this time near Lake Huron in Michigan. It's the fourth object to be shot down this month. Three of those objects remain unidentified. Kentucky Congressman James Comer is the chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, good morning to you. You know, we want your reaction from this latest wave of objects being shot down and really to pinpoint it even more, why the Biden administration is not being transparent to the point that they're not even telling us if this is aliens or UFOs or if it's something from China. What, what's going on? No one knows what's going on. Even Democrats are frustrated uh, at the lack of transparency from this administration. I mean, this administration historically has been the least transparent administration in America, but at a time of uh, crisis, uh, we see this administration, you know, hide behind uh, the walls here. They won't come out and answer basic questions. Uh, we don't know if it's because they really don't know what's going on or what, but uh, you know, the American people have seen Joe Biden in the first two years. He has failed to secure the southern border. Now they're beginning to get concerned that he can't secure our airspace. So uh, this is a time when you need leadership from the White House and the president should uh, come forward and explain to the American people exactly what's going on. Well, one basic question that I think they absolutely need to answer, are we under attack? That's a great question, and we're concerned about that. I mean, China is our adversary. Uh, one reason that my committee is investigating Joe Biden is we're concerned that th this administration is compromised by China because of the millions and millions of dollars that the family has received from China. So uh, that makes it even more concerning that, that Joe Biden won't come forward and talk about what's going on with China. China is our adversary. Make no mistake about it. Well, speaking of investigations and the Bidens, new text messages found on Hunter Biden's laptop reportedly show the FBI and Secret Service got involved in an incident where Hunter's ex left his gun in a public trash can near a school despite the agency claiming it was not involved. Now, one agent said it's kind of odd that we were involving the missing gun investigation when neither Hunter or Joe were even receiving Secret Service protection at that time. And another responding, maybe we were asked for a favor what are they talking about? What do you mean a favor? This is a big question because the Secret Service has come back into play now because of the mishandling of the classified documents. And we believe the Secret Service has records of who all was in and out of uh, the House where Joe Biden mishandled those classified documents, especially Hunter Biden. He either lived there or spent a whole lot of time there. But with respect to that text, there are numerous instances where the Secret Service came and tried to bail Hunter out when he was in a jam, uh, when he was in California and, and getting in all kinds of trouble, getting kicked out of a, a very exclusive hotel there. The Secret Service showed up to try to uh, see if there was some way they could get him back to Delaware, to, to his family, to, to protect him. And then with this gun application, uh, there's reports that the Secret Service went and visited the, the gun dealer uh, and, and wanted a copy of the application. And I don't believe the gun dealer gave the Secret Service a copy of that application. But regardless of the fact, at that point in time, Joe Biden did not have Secret Service protection. Joe Biden received Secret Service protection six months after he left the vice presidency and at the point when he declared for president. So there was about a two and a half year period there where the American people weren't providing Secret Service protection for the Bidens, yet there are numerous instances where the Secret Service always showed up to try to help Hunter Biden. It's bizarre, and this is another set of questions that, that Joe Biden needs to come forward and be transparent, uh, not just with the American people, but especially with the House Oversight Committee, because we have a major investigation here, and the Secret Service are now a part of it. You used a key phrase, bailed out. Why does Hunter Biden always seem to get bailed yeah. out, whether it's a rich Malibu attorney, whether it's an accommodating mm -hmm. art dealer, or now the Secret Service? It's a question that we need answers to. Congressman Comer, thanks so much for getting up with us Thank you. on Super Bowl Monday. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.